Pie like that, Nick? In a V, I mean. The hell kind of question is that? All right, I think I have a momentary break in the, uh... nope. well, that's a Lexus, so that's not so bad, but there have been a whole bunch of dump trucks coming through here, loaded with gravel and the uh, quarry pit back there. Yeah, big old quarry. So anyway, we're going that way. Rock hitters. We're somewhere along the East Fork of the Lewis River, and we're going to do some fishing and... Maybe like some it. steelhead, maybe some salmon, maybe some brook trout. We'll see what we get, right? No brook trout. No brook trout? None in there? I would. I've never caught one. We'll see. We'll see. All right. All right. We're here. So, Todd had to run back to the car. He should be back any second. He forgot all of his flies. So. Hopefully he's pulled the uh, stupidity out for today and uh, I won't have to do anything. <coughs> we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we're going to start fishing and uh, should be steelhead and salmon in here. I don't know what the trout situation is. If there's brookies, we can keep them. Uh, no minimum size, no limit. If it's rainbows or any other kind of trout, we're going to have to throw them back because they're all out of season. So, for directions to this fishing pond, first you want to... <laughs> that was a good cast. Um, I rubbed off. Gross, dude. Fish on. Seriously? Oh, no. Stick on. Nope. Uh, oil on. Oh. Yeah, it's just old milfoil, yeah. It, it hit though, it was interesting. Does that make it gilfoil when it's that old? You're the only thing that's made a splash. You know, I think that's the nicest thing you've said to me all day. You're welcome. Hi, dears. Oh, dear. We just yelled at them, so now they're looking at us. Hey dears! Are you guys? Are you guys? The one on the right looks like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this out. Hope we do get some fish, huh? There's a whole bunch of this watercress. Good stuff. So, there's Todd down there, still trying his luck. Oh, he ditched the fly pole, I guess. I wasn't consulted. Anyhow. See, there's a big drop off in the water right there, right? For the confluence. of these two come together. So, I'm going to try standing like right in there. And then I'm going to cast my fly out and hopefully drift it out through there and see what happens, but I'm not really seeing any activity in here. We'll see.
doing his thing down there. Meantime, I am going to try spinning in this and see what happens. Yeah. Oh. What? It was a big leaf. It spit it. Got me a salmon. I caught it four months ago. All right. I just did a couple of casts without filming. There is a little trout in there, it looks like. Keeps attacking my lure, so I'm gonna start filming. So Todd's running a spinner and getting some bites. I unfortunately hooked a big tree. Uh, yes, actually, that tree that's just kind of poking out over here, and uh, I lost my lure, so I gotta hook a new one on there. All right, <clears throat> spinning didn't work. I'm gonna get jiggy with it. So here we are fishing the Rio Grande. That's Mexico. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's very cold this time of year at the Rio Grande. And if we leave here without catching anything, I might actually tell you what it really is. Why would anybody fish in Salmon Creek? What could possibly be in that? <laughs> All right, so time to gear up here. Here's this little uh, Panther Martin spinner that my son got me for Christmas. I hope it's bright enough for this murky water, it's my only thing, but then again, I haven't seen any evidence of fish in here as of yet. There was a guy that stopped by and told us that there is no fish in here and we weren't going to catch anything, but that's not exactly a deterrent. If there's one thing I know about fishermen, it is that they lie. Right? No. See? Alright, well I can only hope that... If something does grab this, it's not very big, because I don't want to lose my brand new lure, even though I have another one exactly like it. Uh, Actually, I should probably just take that bag with me. You're just trying to walk right into my damn hook, aren't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> in this spot. Um, unfortunately I think that fisherman was not lying to us. There's no fish in here. I can see 
through the water for most of this over here, I have seen absolutely nothing. Nothing. Not even a minnow. So, I don't know. Probably have to find Todd and uh, discuss where we're going next because this isn't looking very good. Have you not decided there's no fish in here yet? What? what? Yeah, so have you not decided there's no fish in here yet? I haven't gotten that far. Oh. Yeah. He'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> Thoughts on Salmon Creek? Had to throw them all back? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, every last one. I had to throw them all back. It's pretty. Look at the fog and the mist and the things in that. Oh, it's, I know. It's, it's, I like it. It's definitely pretty. But I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to judge one, a, a whole body of water based on one section. Because the... Apparently I need to clean my lens. My house. I have definitely seen steelhead dead ones in the water after they spawn. Maybe we're too late. No, this is right here. This is winter steelhead season. I need January, to clean my lens. Yeah, a lot of garbage along Salmon Creek. That's one of its features. Todd's over there hauling about a bunch of mail sitting under this bridge. This mist looks so cool. It's frosty over there still. But... What is not in here? Huh? I said, and what is not in here? Salmon. Right. <laughs> not this time of year, at any rate. Season, so. No, salmon's out of season. Steelhead's in season, but... Well, I mean, I can see the water. If they were coming through, I would have seen one. <laughs> 